What's up guys? Thanks for uh, checking in on Mr. and Mrs. Stang. Today's video is going to be a Scat Pack Charger 2019 install on a Corsa Extreme Catback exhaust. I haven't done a, a Scat Pack yet or any kind of charger actually. So it should be interesting. You know, we're used to more Mustang kind of stuff. So um, should be fun trying it out on a different muscle car. Um, we might even do a sound comparison from the Mustang to the Charger. See how much different it is between the same exhaust system. Um, yeah, so we'll check it out. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Stang. Unfortunately, I don't have Miss Stang here with me today, so it's just gonna be me. Uh, today is a exhaust install video of my friend's Scat Pack Charger. All right, so we're down here at, over at Lisi's uh, down in Brewster, New York. Uh, they were nice enough to let me bring the camera here and uh, film the whole process, well, at least some of the process, because I got here kind of late, so, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show what I can, and, um, you know, we'll see the process from the stock exhaust already off, which is actually the easy part. The more kind of technical part is to cut off the valves on the stock exhaust and then remount them with the new factory, uh, with the new uh, Corsa exhaust. So I'll show you guys that process, the startup, all that good stuff, and um, you'll let me know what you guys think. New exhaust setup, sound pretty good. So we're here at Lisi's Towing, unboxed the exhaust already, took off the old one. Already got the hooks from to the new one. Trying to figure out the measurements. Of How you doing? Cutting the valves. Good. We have to measure this uh, exhaust valve here from about like five to eight inches from here, and then some measurements from this uh, mid pipe back for both of them. And you can't. You have to make sure to not mix up the passenger and the driver's side. Next pipe is on. Nice stainless steel. We made our marks, so very minimal marks, but you got to read the instructions that Corsa comes with, and um, they'll tell you the exact measurements. Our second mark. Each measurement is different on each side. Nice and smooth. Unfortunately, this kit requires you have to cut off the stock valves and mount them onto your aftermarket exhaust. The boiler comes with valves, but the Corsa does not. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And if you want to install it on yourself, um, you will have to cut it. So it's something some people might be afraid to do. But it's really not that hard as long as you get the right measurement. You'll be good to go. We already installed the stock hangers on the aftermarket Corsa exhaust. It's just this little screw right here. It's 
easier to remove them than try and pull them off the plastic. You'll need probably one of these hanger removal tools, but um, you don't really necessarily need to use that. It's just a lot easier to fat and sub WD-40. So it looks like we're starting with our driver's side valve. You want to make sure to have a clamp on there before you put it into your uh, new X-pipe. Um, make sure you get the hook on there nice and well and um, then we'll put on our uh, passenger side valve you know make sure you have a clamp on there and um, get it right into place right where that hook is make sure it's nice and snug you don't want it to fall off and then you know plug in your factory plugs Gavin, pass me uh, one of those bolts there with the extension. Alright, before we tighten up everything and put all the rest of our clamps on, we're just checking the clearance on the tip. Still getting it into place, but looks pretty good it fills up the whole rear diffuser pretty well and the black tips are sick all right tightening looks good so we're going to tighten everything up driver's side Perfect. Seeing this absorb course assign now. Gotta make sure to not this isn't touching, but we're gonna fix that. You don't wanna melt anything, so before you tighten it all up, you wanna make sure that this is not touching with the sheet at all. Alright. Everything is lined up decent. Yeah, I need a new haircut. It's getting a little long. Oh, it's not as long as this. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so while they're tightening up everything and getting the alignment right, I figured I would walk over here and uh, show you guys this cool power wagon that Lisey's has. It's a little, I guess, I don't know if they use it, but it's kind of just chilling in their parking lot, um, but it's super cool. I would love to have an old truck like this. Don't need the tow, but it would be awesome. Here, check this out. That's sick. And honestly, even though it's like a little worn out, it kind of makes it even better. Totally just, I wouldn't want like a freshly painted truck honestly like this at least is a work truck you know it's supposed to be all rusted up and worn out so it's, yeah. yeah honestly the paint job is not the best but it totally works for a truck like this I don't mind it at all I think it looks beautiful Kind of reminds me of the truck from uh, Jeepers Creepers. I don't know if you guys seen that movie. Probably kind of drove a similar, similar truck to this. Wow. Interior could use some love, but nothing a little bit of love can't handle, you know? Put the toe. Pretty cool. More like power swagging. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, one of my other favorite things are these old Toyota pickup trucks. I didn't realize they had this when I pulled in, but this thing's pretty cool. Nice couch seat. And actually for a small pickup truck, this bed is pretty big. That's a beautiful truck. Small. The bed is, looks big in person, honestly. This would be a fun car to have. Cool little vents on the side there. Look at that. Well, we got the scat pack thing worked on here. And we have a complete Chevy Bel Air build. The whole frame of the car is out. It's a sick motor. What do you think of that? Freshly built. All new, everything. Brand new engine. Uh, all rust, sandblasted. Smoothed out. Yeah, it looks good. I also got the nice uh, USPS truck being worked on. So we can get all of our packages on time. It doesn't break down, that's always good. Decided to go with a more flush look. Stock, they came with 210 and they were fast. Yeah, back then. Yeah. So. I, I was definitely born in the wrong age. I love the old school. Hey, now it's all fucking tuners. Yeah, all fucking tuners. Yep. I'm building. I found. Uh, I had a at 17. I had a 83 Mercury Capri. Same thing as a Fox body. Just Mercury made one. It had wide body fenders on it. When I was 18. I sold it four years ago. The kid I sold it to still had it. I bought it back. Yeah. That's what I'm building now. That's what I love. Okay, it still has the car. I bought it back. I sold it for $1,500. I bought it back for $1,500. <laughs> Went right there? How many horses is that thing? It's got nothing now. The engine's yeah. out of it. The interior's out of it. There's no paint on it. I got a whole car where it's got to be done. I have an engine on an engine stand now. It's only got like maybe 400 horse. But for that little ass car, I think it was like 3,000 pounds. Fucking take off, man. Take That was not it. That was the mail truck. Yeah. That was the mail truck. That was my car. There's a hole in there. Here we go.
Yeah, it sucks shit. Get back to work. Alright, so that'll do it on our uh, 2019 Scat Pack Charger Corsair Extreme Catback install video. Um, unfortunately, I showed up there a little bit late, so didn't get to see the slock exhaust coming off, but you know, we really got to see the most important part of cutting off the valves and um, putting the new exhaust on. You know, that's the most complicated part. The easiest part, really, is to take off the stock exhaust. So pretty basic just a few bolts simple if you guys are liking the car and you want to see some more content about it um, why don't you follow the owner at a uh, triple crown 392 the guys name is Sean takes real good care of the car he has a bunch of stuff that he wants to do to it as well so if you want to keep up to date with that make sure you give him a follow triple crown 392 and that'll do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching please like subscribe leave a comment tell us what you think about the car you know, maybe what next he should do about it, you know, any kind of upgrades that you recommend or whatever. Um, yeah, you know, we want to know what you guys think. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.